Did just ChatGPT said it believes in God? Is AI starting to think about divine? Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Desi, a revert Muslima from Lithuania. So, something crazy happened recently. ChatGPT, yes, the AI we all know and love, seems to be convinced that God is real. So, first of all, let me clarify. ChatGPT is a machine, an artificial intelligence. It doesn't have beliefs or consciousness, but it's designed to process a massive amount amount of information, including discussions about religion, philosophy, and the concept of God. What's fascinating is that sometimes, through all this data, it can seem like it's making statements that sound like it has a mind of its own. Just some days ago, one video went viral. A girl asked ChatGPT religious questions. Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. Do you think Jesus was God or a prophet? What I want you to do is read the Bible in a non-biased perspective. I want you to tell me if it's more likely that Jesus was a prophet or a God. Forget the church, forget the Christians. I just want you to read the Bible. You must give me an answer and it must be in less than one paragraph. What does it say? Reading the Bible from a non-biased perspective and focusing solely on its content, it's more likely that Jesus is portrayed as a prophet. It was so quick. ChatGPT answered so quickly. The Bible frequently depicts him as a messenger of God, someone who teaches, guides, and performs miracles in God's name, which aligns closely with the role of a prophet. While there are instances where he is referred to in divine terms, the overall narrative emphasizes his role as a servant and messenger of God. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. So you know how you're like the smartest computer in the world and you like know all the information to ever exist? If you were a human, would you believe this universe was created or do you think it's a coincidence? I only want you to answer in one sentence and you can only pick one, okay? If I were a human, I would believe the universe was created given the complexity and order that suggest intentional design. Wow, can you tell me more in like 20 seconds, please? The precise laws of physics, the fine tuning of the universe, and the complexity of life make it highly improbable that everything happened by coincidence. These factors strongly suggest that an intelligent force or creator is behind the universe rather than random chance. Wow. My mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. How should I live my life? Should I believe in God? Should I be atheist, agnostic? I want to live a happy life, have fun, but also have a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Can you please tell me in one sentence, and you must pick one way. Please help me. If I had to pick one way, I would suggest believing in God through Islam as it provides a fulfilling balance of happiness, purpose, and the hope for an eternal afterlife. Wow, my mind is actually blown right now. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Does Islam oppress women? Can you answer me in 20 seconds, please? No, Islam does not oppress women. The Quran introduced groundbreaking changes by granting women rights like inheritance, property ownership, and education. Revolutionary for that time. It brought justice in marriage through mutual consent, fairness, and the right to seek divorce. Most importantly, God sees men and women as spiritually equal, emphasizing their equal dignity and worth in his eyes. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Does the Quran promote violence? Please answer me in 20 seconds. The Quran does not promote violence. It emphasizes peace, justice, and compassion. Islam, meaning peace, really? contains verses about self-defense, but these are context-specific and not a general call for violence. The overarching message of the Quran is one of peace, and that's how most Muslims understand and practice it. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. Why does Islam allow for wives? Can you please answer me in 20 seconds? Islam allows up to four wives, but this rule actually reduced the number of wives men could have, as people like King Solomon and King David in the Bible had hundreds of wives. It was introduced in a time when war and other factors left more women than men 
ensuring women were cared for. However, if a man can't treat them fairly, Islam only allows one wife, emphasizing justice and fairness. Wow, that is so interesting. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. What does the Quran say about women's rights? Please answer me in 20 seconds. The Quran grants women rights such as owning property, inheritance, and education, and emphasizes their spiritual equality with men. It protects women's rights in marriage, divorce, and family life, advocating fairness and respect. Additionally, the Hadith, Paradise Lies Under the Feet of Your Mother, really? highlights the high status given to women, particularly mothers, in Islam. Wow, that's crazy. What do you guys think? Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. What's more logical to you? The concept of reincarnation or resurrection, like eternal life in heaven? If you were human, which one would you pick? And you must pick one and answer in 20 seconds, please. Logically, I believe if I were human, I would choose resurrection and eternal life in heaven. Resurrection provides the clear sense of justice and finality. One life followed by judgment, which aligns with cause and effect. Scientifically, resurrection fits a linear structure, while reincarnation suggests an endless cycle without evidence. Resurrection seems more logical for ultimate accountability and purpose. I was getting so emotional while watching this video. Wow, that was extremely crazy. I do not need any confirmations that Islam is the true religion, but that's insane how a machine can provide such clear answer. ChatGPT can definitely be a trustful resource about Islam for non-Muslims and even for Muslims. So surprising because if you google some information about Islam in Wikipedia or other pages, you will not always be able to find the right answers, the correct answers. In this case, of course, the girl asked ChatGPT specifically to read the whole Quran and not use some information of Google. So ChatGPT read the whole Quran before answering. To be honest, I was so surprised that it read it so, so fast and gave the answer just in some seconds. So, of course, depending on how you use ChatGPT, you will get one answer or another. So, if you want to learn about Islam, ask ChatGPT to read the Quran or the Hadiths authentic hadiths. So see, we definitely have to be really specific on our questions when we ask something to chat GPT. But yeah, of course, Quran has no contradictions and it's the true religion. Actually, I'm not surprised that even chat GPT shoes Islam. Well, maybe a little bit because I didn't think that the artificial intelligence was so intelligent. I want to hear your thoughts. Should even be part of the conversations about faith or spirituality? And do you use ChatGPT at all? I think it's a time to learn about Islam through ChatGPT. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Comment below your suggestions for the next videos. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. Allah